Welcome back to Holfam's Apiary. I'm Jason Holfam. And in this video, I'm going to start the treatments for against the varroa mites using formic acid. You won't want to miss it. All right, so there's a couple of things I have to do first in preparation. First is I have to get all the feeders off. Then I have to put an empty hive body on top of the brood boxes. Then I have to open up the entries outside all the way because for this particular type of treatment, you need a really good ventilation in the, uh, in the, in the, in the hives. So I'll open the entry up all the way and that way a lot of air can come in, can help circulate the, uh, the fog that we'll create with the formic acid. What else do I need to do? Then I'll also need to fill these bottles with the proper amount of formic acid. Um, what I like about this system is you have basically this paper inlay that will go on top of this plastic support frame. If I can get this on here, right? Let's see, it goes on like this. And then the bottle, when it has the formic acid inside, it will set on top like that. And then basically the formic acid will drip onto this paper. And then over the next couple of days, because of the heat, It'll, the, the paper will begin to dry, the, the, the formic acid will evaporate from the, from the paper and will have an even distribution of formic acid within the hives. So I need to fill those. Uh, what's nice about this system, once again, is that it's written on the back of the bottle exactly how much you need to use depending on the type of magazine system you're using. Um, so I'm using basically a, well, I'm using one hive body right now um, for, for, all of the hive, for all of the hives. There's only one hive body for one brood chamber. So it's written here that for one brood chamber, um, using 60% formic acid. So let me see, here's the bottle. So this is the formic acid. Um, it's 60% formic acid. Uh, I need to use 140 milliliters. So basically half, about half of the bottle is about is 150 milliliters. So I need to use 140 milliliters to start. And that will give basically a evaporation of 20 to 25 milliliters a day. So those are the things I have to do in preparation. Let's get started. Okay, first I'm gonna go outside and I'm going to open up the entries. And then I need to get the feeders off. I need to prepare the hive bodies. I have lots of hive bodies, but they have frames in them. In them, in them. They have frames in them. So I'll have to remove the frames and um, then I can use those empty hive bodies. So let's see, get this all set up right here. All right, be right back. Now I have to get the feeders off. Of course, the plastic also has to come off. And then I need a hive body. So the empty hive body can put on right away. Thank you. 
My father-in-law is outside saving bees. All right. So now what I can do is I can go ahead and fill up this one bottle. be very careful using formic acid. Um, it's caustic. Use gloves. If you can, wear goggles um, because you don't want to get this in your eyes or on your skin. Um, be very careful when using formic acid. So that'll take about five days until that's evaporated. So let's go to the next one right away, huh? Just fill the bottles first. Try to place the bottle inside so that you can actually read how much formic acid is still in there just by lifting up the cover. Otherwise, you have to move all kinds of stuff around. The bees are already pretty frustrated with that. They're starting to get agitated. 
Um, formic acid is very aggressive. It does not kill the bees, but it causes stress. So that's why you have to really take special measures or take care that you do it when the temperature is right. And that's why I started today in the morning. So the next five days, um, it will actually have time to evaporate and the bees won't be too stressed. They will be stressed, but not so bad. That was it. Um, now what I'll do is I'll write in my in my book how much uh, formic acid I used and what day it is. Also in five five days I'll come back and check and see if the bottles are empty. Um, if they're not, then I just have to wait a couple days to to take them out again. And then once I've taken them out, I can put the feeders back on and I can start giving them food for winter stores. All right, well, that's it for this video. Um, that's how I do the formic acid treatments. Uh, there are other methods. There are other types of formic acid. Um, I've just found that this one is the most effective. Um, what I'll have to do is I'll have to check in a few weeks how effective it was. So I'll have to also try to count mites again. Um, but I hope that I will not have to repeat this process again. As I stated before, it does cause the bees a lot of stress, and um, that's something we want to try to avoid. Uh, one of the next things that I'll be doing after the formic acid treatments is I will give them back the feeders, and I will try to give them enough syrup so that they'll have some good winter stores to get them through the winter. If you haven't already done it, please hit subscribe, and I'll try to get some more content out to you as soon as possible. As always, stay safe. Stay healthy and have fun beekeeping.